Hi guys, this is Asma Mushtaq from DW Vibes and in this lecture, I'll explain the difference between the eleven sensitive and the edge trigger storage elements. This figure is showing the three different types of the storage elements that are being driven by the common input signal D and the clock signal. Fine. So the first element is the level sensitive latch. Since there is no symbol present before this clock inputs. The second element is actually the positive edge triggered flip flop. How I came to know it's a positive edge triggered flip flop because before the clock input signal there is a triangle type or a greater sign present which indicate this will consider the changes in the input D every time the clock signal will switch from 0 to 1. The third element is the negative edge triggered flip flop because before the clock input signal there is a bubble present as you can see here and here a triangle sign or a greater sign is also present which indicates it's a flip flop but it is a negative edge triggered flip flop and it will consider the changes in the input D every time the clock signal will switch its value from 1 to 0. I have drawn the clock input signal right here and the input signal D randomly. Initially I will assume the output of all these elements are equal to or is equal to 0. Starting with the level sensitive latch since it is a positive level sensitive D latch so it will consider the changes in the input only for the positive half cycle and for the negative half cycle it will retain its value okay so starting with this input d and the clock signal right here you can see as the positive level of this clock signal is present for that period of time it will follow the input wave pattern all right so I will draw its output similar to the D for the whole positive cycle of the clock signal. Fine. And you can see as the negative cycle arrives, it will retain its previous value for this whole negative cycle. Since as long as the clock signal was high, the value of the D input signal was high that's why it will retain this value for this whole negative cycle fine now when the positive level of the clock signal arrives again it will again follow the input data d pattern or the waveform pattern of d and here you can see while the positive cycle is switching to the negative level the input is also switching to the negative level and for this whole next negative cycle it will retain its value or its previous value. In this way the positive level sensitive latch works. Now let's have a look how the positive edge trigger D flip flop will work. The positive edge trigger D flip flop works whenever the clock signal switches its value from 0 to 1 or every time there is a rising edge of the clock so let's look at the rising edges of this clock signal right here you can see we have one rising edge and here is the other rising edge when this rising edge will arrive the output of the d flip-flop will be similar to the input d initially i have assumed that the value of the output this of this flip flop is equal to 0 and now when it is the clock signal is switching from 0 to 1 whatever the value of D is present at the moment will be considered for this whole time period of the clock signal since you can see the D value is equal to 1 when the clock signal is at the rising edge that's why I'll set its value equal to 1 and it will remain as it is for this whole clock period. Fine. 
okay now what happens when the next rising edge arrives you can see clearly here at the rising edge of the clock signal the value of the d is again equal to 1 that's why it will continue like that and you can draw its or extend this waveform like that because we don't have the information for the next rising edge we have just drawn for the two rising edges and for that period of time the value of the d was equal to 1 hence the output of the flip-flop or the positive s trigger flip-flop can be drawn like that now let's see how the negative s triggered d flip-flop will work these are the falling edge of the clock signal and every time the clock signal switches its value from 1 to 0 the value of the d will be forwarded to the output so we have started or assumed that initially the value of the negative edge trigger d flip flow was equal to 0 and it will hold its value as long as we have the or we arrive to the negative edge of the clock when we arrive at the negative edge of the clock you can see clearly here the value of the input d signal is equal to one fine it is high so that's why it will switch its value to one and it will retain this value until the next falling edge arrives okay so i will draw this pulse like that when the next falling edge of the clock signal arrives you can see the value of the d has changed to zero that's why it will switch its value to zero and it will continue until the next value of the clock signal arrives in this way you can see we have drawn the output of three different elements and how the output waveforms are changing with respect to the either they are level sensitive or the edge triggered elements thank you for watching if you have any questions drop your questions in the comment section and kindly like and subscribe to my channel